Well, good morning and welcome back to another 5280 Adventures metal detecting trip. Today we're actually out at a brand new permission. Brand new, as far as we know and as far as the homeowner knows, never been hunted before. Um, we're going to head out there and see what we can find. Now I will tell you, um, I am filming the intro after the fact. So I can tell you um, there's a lot of iron where we're at, which is good because that means there's a lot of activity. Uh, a lot of buildings where we were... Um, we find a couple pretty good items. You guys are going to want to stick around and see exactly what we find. But I wanted to remind you before we get into the digging part of it, I need you guys to come visit me on Thursday nights over at Relics Radio on Spreaker.com. It's our metal detecting treasure hunting podcast every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you guys head over to uh, Spreaker.com, search for Relics Radio. I'll also leave you the link down below to that. So I hope to see you guys on Thursday nights. Now, let's get over to the digging and see what we can find uh at this brand new permission really excited i'll see you guys over there we got ken hunting way over there to the south and working my way there's a windmill up here and it kind of works its way down i came over this way and there's a homestead back over here kind of working my way from that um over this direction Got a 49, real strong. Flung it out, looks like it's a button. Um, I can still see that shank on the back, but check out the front of this. Oh, wow. That is fancy there. And the shank on the back, it's bent over, but I will take that. That is a beautiful piece. And there's some definitely some uh, details in there. I'll take that. Found that button right up over here using this manicure. And just popped this out. Have not cleaned it off, but it looks like some sort of a cross to me. I haven't cleaned it at all yet. Oh, yeah. See if we can focus on that. Yep, you see the details there. It's light like aluminum. Um, definitely. Some sort of a, maybe it, like a pendant broke at the top here. Possibly, it feels like aluminum, but uh, absolutely. That was worn around somebody's neck for sure. Check that out. Well, we have found a couple of these today, but this one's a little bit deeper um, than the other ones. You can see here. The Colorado license plate, and it looks like we've got 19, but we're never gonna know the year. That one's been lost to the ground. Well, like I said, lots and lots and lots of iron, which is good. We just have to pick through that. A couple good finds. I'll take a beautiful, beautiful button there, as well as uh, that little pendant, that cross pendant. I love that. I'm going to get that cleaned up. Probably show you a picture right here um, as well. I, it, we're going to spend a lot of time out there. I can, I can definitely tell there's lots of uh, acres. We've got 40 acres to dig out on. Obviously, there was some stuff out there. We had found it on a 1913 map. And a lot of stuff is dating right around that same period. So I know we're on it. We just have to be able to pick through all the iron. Again, I want to see you guys uh, come visit us on uh, speaker.com, Rolex Radio, our podcast Thursday nights. Hope to see you over there. And that's going to do it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys stopping by. And as always, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care, guys.